Hello and welcome to another episode of the N Soccer Property Show, the show that consistently gives you everything that you need to know about the property market. This week we are in Thika, which is becoming increasingly popular with homeowners because the Thika Road Superhighway makes it very easy to commute between the city if you're working there and if you're living here in Thika. So our first property of the week is the Flame Tree Park Apartments. is rife with real estate activity as apartment buildings pop up at quite a rapid rate. Both individuals and families are choosing Thika as their preferred abode for two reasons. Firstly, access through the Thika Road Superhighway is very good, especially if you're working in the city. And secondly, even if you're staying within Thika Town, the town itself has plenty of social amenities to cater for you and your family. Flame Tree Park Apartments makes it as one of our properties of the week, primarily because they have a very good selling price. 5.25 million shillings for a three-bedroom apartment is not a price that you would get within the city. The plan is simple yet very practical. Looking at the sitting room, it displays the bay windows, which let in a lot more light than usual because of the extra glass paneling that extends from the sides. Curtain rods as well have been used instead of curtain boxes, which tend to hold a lot of dust and even cobwebs build up inside. I am seated at the kitchen counter, which is a very good alternative if you don't have space to place a dining table within the living area. The countertops are made of granite, which is heat resistant, so you can comfortably bring your food over here and, you know, serve the meal, share it with the family, and the open plan gives you a feeling of space so that you can comfortably interact with the people who are in the sitting room area. Now, the kitchen has plenty of sockets, as you can see, to place a, a microwave, to connect to your jug. The fridge has its own space as well as the cooker and the cabinets are made of wood. The outside is very expansive. Cabro tiled parking ensures that your feet don't get muddy or wet when you're going to your car and also your children want to have a comfortable place on which to ride their bicycles. Now there is one parking slot per apartment with a few extras also for visitors. Some green areas have also been set aside for you to just sit down and relax. There are built-in wardrobes which are made of wood and they have both a space to hang your clothes and drawers as well. The third bedroom can serve as a children's room but please note that there is a door which is leading to the outside. So if your children are sleeping here, this door must be locked 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Of course, another alternative for using this room is as a guest room or as a domestic servant's quarter because it is self-contained. Now there is a hot water tank available, but you may also install an instant hot water shower. This gated community is in its fourth phase, the first three having sold out rapidly. Security is adequate. Wi-Fi connectivity, in-house electricity transformer and inbuilt DSTV ports are installed. Electricity is prepaid. Rainwater harvesting is provided for in addition to a 750 litre overhead storage tank per unit. The service charge is quite affordable. Less than 2,000 shillings a month gets you security, garbage collection, maintenance of the grounds and lights. The management has set aside an area at the back of the blocks to hang clothes, so you are not allowed to hang them in your apartment. This ensures that the blocks don't look cluttered. At a selling price of 5.25 million shillings, 54 units out of 100 are still available for sale. These are perfect for starter families. The new proposed railway commuter line is expected to cut travel time from Nairobi by 50% once it's up and running. 